Abigail, you mean the world to me. There's not one second of one day that I'm not thinking about you. This gift is so you always have me with you. My presence will be with you near or far, just like the necklace I have for my mom, you and your parents. This will guide you and make you feel at ease. I love you, your hubby. To my love, my hot wing partner, my best friend. We're finally here. What a journey this has been. I can't imagine doing life without you and we're now making this permanent. Never a dull moment and every day I keep falling deeper and deeper in love. Thank you for being the most selfless. Can't wait to meet the most amazing bride at the aisle. I love you so much. Love, Bubba. I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone and thanking each and every one of you for being here on this most happy of days. It's no accident that each of you are here today and each of you were invited to be here because you represent someone important in the individual and collective lives of Abigail and Joshua. I truly can't think of a better venue than the Ryland Inn for an occasion that I know is not only monumental for the wedded couple to be, but for all of us who are lucky to know and love them as individuals, but even more so as a perfect pairing. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. 
the person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Abigail, that happened about five years ago when she met me and I hired her to be our general manager for Stitched. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm obviously kidding. That person is definitely Joshua, who I must say is pretty wonderful too. I know how deeply these two care for and love one another, and I truly feel privileged to be here among all of you as a witness of their commitment of a lifetime of love for one another. I think I've had the good fortune of meeting most of you here at some point or another, but for those of you whom I haven't met, my name is Ricky Lopez, and my friendship with the bride began at Stitched when I hired her for our Miami location. And believe it or not, Abigail actually met Joshua at Stitched as well. <laughs> he came into the store and a woman by the name of Naya helped him. He bought shoes and he told them he would consider the shirt that was suggested only if Abigail and Naya agreed to go and have drinks with him. <laughs> so, long story short, Abigail has some drinks with him, and being the gentleman that he is, he walked her home, and according to Mr. Kunis, Abigail actually didn't say goodbye to him. <laughs> they began dating, and Abigail was completely smitten with his big heart, his philanthropic support, and him being a proper gentleman. She loves all the little things he does for others. Joshua vividly remembers when he wanted to marry her. He was at a friend's party. It was about eight months into the relationship. It was raining in the backyard, and it just hit him. Abigail was the one. He, too, was enamored with her philanthropic efforts. Abigail brought Joshua to a bereavement camp, and he saw what an impact her support had made, and it made her love him even more. Now. Abigail and Joshua have asked that I keep this speech short, classy, and family-friendly, and politely ask me to leave out stories that are unflattering to either of them. So, I've unfortunately had to redline stories about shenanigans, except for one. An unforgettable night when Miss Abigail may have had a few too many, and Joshua, being the gentleman that he is, tied up her hair to get it out of the way because she wasn't feeling well, she yelled at him to get out. He slept on the couch. She slept in the bed. The next day, they ordered pizza. They spent the entire day together, and they began their journey to love. <laughs> As a third-party spectator to their developing love, it was extremely clear that the two of them represent a perfect pairing because each of them complements the other so well. They balance one another. And while each of them are tremendous individuals on their own, together they are even better. And being better together as a team, a unit, and partners in crime, it is what has been many years in the making and ultimately leads us here today, witnessing their commitment to one another in front of the ones they love the most. I wish I could tell you a single story about Abigail and Joshua that summarizes their relationship and how they enrich each other's lives and the lives of each of us. But the truth is, there isn't one single event that is a good encapsulation of what they mean to me, to each other, and to all of us. But what I do know is that both of them care deeply and passionately for each other. They protect each other. They make each other laugh and think outside themselves. That time magically seems to both fly and slow down when they're together. They help each other in ways that are obvious and unnoticed, but always appreciated. I also know that it's not just with anyone that you can have communication with simply a look. Abigail has helped Joshua grow. He works harder for her because he wants her to be happy. 
They do that for and with each other. I will also say that my personal experiences with Abigail and Joshua highlight the quality of their love. It doesn't matter if I'm with them in person or simply in a funny group text with them. When I'm engaging with them, I am always enjoying myself. And I'm certain that that's part of what makes them so special to each of us. How happy and content we feel when we are with them. And what I wish for them on their wedding day is that their lifetime together as a team is one of complete contentment, full of those moments that they wish would never end, and that they continue to make one another smile and laugh as much as each of us do. So, without further ado, dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here to join Abigail and Joshua in the union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. The bride and groom have each prepared vows that they will read now. So, I've always learned starting my day with gratitude. This is a necessity for a happy and positive life. And today I haven't stopped expressing how grateful I am. And I thought, why not start today expressing our gratitude with each other? First, I'm grateful for even having this day. Grateful for everyone being here. I'm grateful for God listening to my list of what I wanted in a partner. And in case anyone was wondering, I did include hair on that list. <laughs> You're a savage. <laughs> I'm grateful for your love of fashion and spending money, especially at Stitched. Because from there, you became my client, my friend, and now my partner in life. I'm grateful that you took all my friends in. I know they're not easy. <laughs> But they're definitely worth it. And they saw the heart that you had that I saw every day. I'm grateful for your family welcoming in like I was always there. And I look forward to learning all of your traditions and looking through all your old photos. <laughs> I'm grateful for the OAC and the Albany crew. <laughs> I can't imagine my life without any of them. I'm grateful that my family took you in as their own. So much so that my mom would leave me out of group chats <laughs> and you would pass me the messages and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm grateful for your mom. For raising such an amazing son with such a beautiful heart who always put others' needs in front of his own. And we have a lot of beautiful angels looking over us. And we're blessed every day. I'm grateful for our little family. I know Bravo would already be pulling my dress if she was down here or up here. <laughs> and I'm grateful for our future and our family that's going to be growing. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for my wall, my rock, 
and my biggest fan. I'm grateful knowing that you'll always be by my side for the rest of my life. And I'm grateful for our love getting stronger every day. So I started listening to a song this past year, over and over again, by Colby Collet, and I'm not gonna sing it for any of you guys, although my parents spent a lot of money on voice lessons, I won't <laughs> do that to you. But this kind of sums up my vows for you. Laugh. I will make you laugh if you ever feel like crying. Close. I will hold you close. You won't be alone anymore. If you need someone to believe in, if you're reaching for a hand to guide you home, just take my hand and I won't ever let you go. So I hope you know I'm never going to let you down. I'm always going to build you up. And when you're feeling lost, I will always find your love. I'm never going to walk away. I'm always going to have your back. If nothing else, you can always count on that. I love you more and more every day. And I'm so grateful for you. Love you. Me too. <laughs> Follow that up. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to go second uh, first. <laughs> you weren't kidding. I really gotta. <sighs> it's only one page. Don't worry. <sighs> Abigail Stephanie de Sosa. What else is there to say? Well, first. Let's hope I don't black out like I did in Spain. <laughs> and secondly, I'll try and stay as composed as I can while I say this to you. My Bubba, my best friend, my life. When I first moved to Miami, I was hoping to experience a new world, find something different within myself. What I found, was the best thing life could ever bring me. There was nothing else that could even come in front of me that would be better than you. 2 a.m. on a warm November night, we stood at the bar laughing and drinking lots of tequila. <laughs> and I remember in that moment, I don't always say it to you, but that's when I was in love with you. You were just a friend but I knew you were the one. And like Ricky said, even though you turned and walked away that night, I knew something was there. And after our first official date, all of our thoughts were confirmed. Two glasses of wine, a full sushi boat, and a visit to the toilet. With words saying, Josh, leave me here and let me throw up. <laughs> Might be the most, most beautiful words ever spoken to me after a first date. <laughs> I love you. And I've sat down countless times, writing this over and over again. Little notes here, small changes there. Every time I sat down to type, I played some country music, something I love to hear and be with you on. And I cried. I cried each time, and tears of joy rolled down my eyes. Knowing I was writing this for the person who I was going to be with forever, knowing this love song would be ours forever. You make me feel safe no matter where I am. I've always had this chain around my neck that's for my mom. It's been on me since I was 13 years old ever comes off. It gives me comfort in the time, good times and strength in the hard times. Now, as you know, every time I fly, I kiss it before taking off. And then I met you. The tradition didn't change. But something better was added to it. I added you to that tradition. I text you every time I go to flight. I need your safety. I need your guidance. I need your strength. I text you when there's a little bump in the air because I'm scared or nervous. I need you to comfort me. 
I need you to calm me down. <laughs> and even if you don't answer, I still feel strong. I still know that you're looking at it. I still know you're there. I tell you about every little thing along the way because I need you. You are the one who I want. You're the one who I need. And everything about it is amazing. You make me feel safe even 10,000 miles away. And for my 30th birthday, you gave me a chain that will always sit upon my chest, always upon my heart, never leave. And I kiss that every single time I'm away from you as well, knowing you're right here with me. A wise man once told me that when I propose to you, the ring could be a diamond, a piece of lace, or even a rubber band. And no matter what you choose, that ring holds a connection and a friendship that we share now and we will share forever. No matter what the cost, our love has no price, God. Our love is richer than the most expensive stone or metal in the world. After meeting you for the first time, my best friend pulled me to the side and said this. I never thought I'd meet another person like you, Josh. <laughs> Nonetheless, a female. She's absolutely perfect for you. And you, are, and you are meant to be together. And you know how close my friends are to me and how much that meant to me. Every day, I would always say, this is the day I'm going to change myself. And this is the day I'll better myself. Then there was one day I woke up and everything changed. That was the day I met you. You're my best friend. Sorry, Johnny, Kevin, Dan. <laughs> But having my best friend, and, and Lauren, <laughs> but having my best friend by my side forever is the most comfortable feeling I could ever have. I love you both forever. And now, Joshua, yes. do you take Abigail to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her forevermore? I do. And Abigail, do you take Joshua to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding unto him forevermore? I do. Abigail and Joshua will now exchange rings as a symbol of love and commitment to each other. Rings are a precious metal. They are also made precious by you wearing them. Your wedding rings are special. They enhance who you are. They mark the beginning of your long journey together. Your wedding ring is a circle, a symbol of love never ending. It is the seal of the vows you have just taken to love each other without end. The rings, Joshua. Or Jonathan. Joshua, please place the ring on Abigail's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. Abigail, <laughs> stay on. Please place the ring on Joshua's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. 
To make your relationship work <laughs> will take love. Continue to date each other. Take time to show each other that your love and marriage grows stronger with time. It will take trust to know that in your hearts, you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing what exactly the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged today. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey, it is my honor and delight to declare you married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. You may seal this declaration with a kiss. times I almost said what's on my mind but I didn't and just the other day I wrote down all the things I'd say but I couldn't I just couldn't baby I know that you've been wondering So here goes nothing In case you didn't know Baby, I'm crazy about you I would be lying if I said That I could live this life without you Even though I don't tell you all the time You had my heart a long, long time ago In case you didn't know Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment, the bride and groom would like for you to join them in the dance floor. Come on. Get on up. You gave my life to me. Set me free. Set me free. The finest years I ever knew. I had with you and I would give anything I own give up my life my heart my home and I would give everything I own just to have you back again just to touch you once again round of applause ladies and gentlemen please Just 
Beautiful bride, <laughs> and our wonderful Josh is our son in law and the dashing groom. <laughs> Mike and I are incredibly happy today. Abigail, my daughter, I know you may not share our last name anymore, but being mom and dad to you is, is forever. Amanda and Alicia, your sisters, or for always, I'm going to reminisce a little bit, so bear with me. Abby, to this day, we talk about how, as a little three-year-old, you thought the moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start over. <laughs> Abigail, as a little three-year-old, you thought the moon followed us home. You would put your face against the glass window and scream out, it's following us, how does it know? And when we took the turn to our home, you couldn't take it anymore. You sat in your seat, put your hands to your head, and said, oh my God, it followed us, I can't believe it. Abby, as small as she was then, had an unwavering sense of curiosity and excitability about the world all the while bringing a smile to the faces of those around her. To this day, it still exists within her. It truly is a characteristic that a lot of us would love to have. Abby, you look so beautiful today. As a woman who is now married to her love, but to us, you will always be that little girl who makes my heart leap with joy. 
you will always be my dear friend for life. We love you so much. Josh, when Mike and my, I first met you, you were so nervous. We were so nervous, I'm sorry. <laughs> we were so, and thrilled at the same time. You made us part of your life and vice versa. We got to know you as compassionate, kind, lovable, inclusive, and outgoing. You can be silly, you love life, and you know how to enjoy yourself wherever, whenever. We know you will love our daughter with all of your heart and protect her through whatever life brings you both. I know Mike and I never got to meet your mother, Cheryl, but we learned from you how incredible she was and now her spirit is always with us. We will always cherish her and the gift she gave us in you and Johnny. Where's Johnny? Please know Mike, Alicia, Amanda, Nick, and myself love you very much and will be there for you no matter what. Welcome to our family, Josh. <laughs> Josh and Abby, you're about to start a journey of your own. You will experience the joy of starting a family. You both will experience happy and sad moments but always remember to hold each other close and bring out the best in each other. Okay, just want to say a few thank yous. Alicia, Amanda, and Nick. Dad and I thank you for going through this journey and your never ending love and laughter. Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> thank you for being open to our family and we love you very much for that. There is always a seat at the D'Souza dinner table for you. Deirdre, I feel like I know you for years. No wonder jo Josh calls you his second mother. Deirdre. Cannot, cannot beat your eloquence yesterday at the rehearsal dinner. Dana, Shelley, Flo, Barry, Matt, I think they're outside. Aunt Diane and Uncle Ed, as Josh would say. Thank you for your kindness and open hearts. We love you. Tika and Leah, our first set of in-laws. It's been wonderful, and we love you too. Okay. <laughs> to the dear friends and family of Abby and Josh, we cannot thank you enough for being here and celebrating the lovely couple. To my friends from the hospital and their families, our healthcare heroes. Thank you for all you have done and continue to do. We are grateful for this moment in time with family and friends. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Abby and Josh, Dad and myself give you our blessings so that you will always be blissfully happy. Congratulations, my dear Abby and Josh. <laughs> my name's Lauren Pace. I'm Abby's best friend, sister, mentor, left leg, right arm. Actually, it's the other way around. Abby's been a great friend to me. She not only has been my best friend, but she's been my mentor and therapist without even knowing it. <laughs> I met Abby in 2006. Since then, she's been the Charlotte to my Carrie. She's been the constant reminder that it's not what you have, it's who you have. And <laughs> she's broken all friendship barriers. She's become family. As a family member, I not only wanted the best for her, but I felt like I had to protect her for, from what wasn't meant for her. I hoped Abby would find someone who would dance, let her dance, check. I hoped she would find someone who realizes that she's not quite like anyone else, check, check. <laughs> and also someone who would take care of her and nurture her. Josh is luckily all of those things. 
I have not known, I may not have known it, but Josh was that person. I'm so grateful that Abby found Josh, and Josh loves her the way that he does. I would like to thank both parents, whether present or looking down, for making such great humans. One of our favorite singers is Sam Hunt. Um, I invited him here tonight. He couldn't make it. <laughs> that darn positive COVID test. <laughs> However, if he was here, he would say something along these lines. It's Saturday night. We can leave the night on. <laughs> For those of you who don't know us, my name is Dan and this is Kevin, and we'd first like to thank everybody who was able to make it today. Uh, we know that 2020 was a super tough year, but we thought starting off the year with celebrating these two wonderful people and this wedding couldn't be any better. As hard as this might be to believe, we both known Josh since he was sporting a luscious, thick head of curly hair. <laughs> Dan and Josh have been friends since elementary school, and I'm sure you can guess where both of us met, and that's right, this chess club. A large bulk of our teenage memories were filled with sleepovers at his house when we finally passed out to the 30th replay of Sports Center, just as the sun was going, beginning to rise only after consuming about 12 straight hours of whatever game we were into. Josh would almost always fall asleep first, but you wouldn't know it since he would often ramble nonsense, sit up and down in his sleep. Uh, that's right, actually. Um, one time, he even pulled the controller out of my hand when he was mid-sleep, so, uh, and was speaking gibberish, so good luck with that you one, Abby. Did you say Yiddish? No, 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 gibberish, gibberish. Not, not Yiddish. Um, <laughs> anyway, moving on, uh, before, uh, excuse me, begin, between going to college uh, in Albany together, where Josh and I didn't dorm together because he specifically said, and I quote, you'll kill me, uh, though neither of my stays were very long. To Cheryl, including us in family vacations, like the time we went skiing, and Josh realized that he could ski backwards for the first time. And even though he was wearing face coverings, you could still somehow make out that outline of that insufferable smile Josh makes when he knows he's doing something cool or athletic. <laughs> Wasn't there that one time where he went all out in the work recreational kickball league? That's right, he slid in home to try and score the winning run. Was he safe? No, no. Uh, did you guys win? No, but he did manage to snap his ankle, dislocate it, and uh, required surgery. So he made, working home, <laughs> he made working from home cool before we even knew it was a thing. We were both lucky enough to be accepted into Josh's family without any hesitation, and he ours. In fact, if I remember correctly, Josh enjoyed his first pork loin at my house. That's right, and I come from a small Irish community in Queens, and within two years of moving to Long Island, I was sitting down at the family's table to take part in the readings of the Haggadah, I did that wrong, during Passover, while shoving gefilte fish down my face, and I had to look up the spelling of gefilte. <laughs> Holiday season or not, we always had a place in Josh's home growing up, and Cheryl always made sure that we were taken care of the same way she did all of her boys. She knew exactly what she was doing raising you, and we know she would be proud of the man you are today. I can always remember Charlotte working on her garden, so it's no surprise that she was able to cultivate such a fine young man in Josh. Everyone is given obstacles in life that they are forced to overcome. If you're lucky, you only have to face a few, and if you're Josh, you faced a million. At a time when most of us were just dealing with adolescence, he faced situations that generally don't uh, arrive until adulthood. If you didn't know Josh intimately, then you would never know his struggles, simply because he does not allow them to become him. If you ask me, that might be one of the top qualities to finding a life partner. So Abby, I'm happy to let you know that you're currently marrying a very positive 50-year-old man. <laughs> but for real, there are certain relationships that you have the privilege to form in your life. People who change you for the better and who are always on the other, on the other end of the phone when you dial, and for us that person is and always will be Josh. Josh is honestly the most unique, one of a kind person we have ever met, and I don't mean to be cliche, but Abby, you are his perfect match. The way that you can keep him in check and at the same time manage to love and appreciate all of his quirks makes both of us confident in your future together. Abby, you're a lucky lady. You managed to snatch the only man I know who has the musical taste of a teenage girl growing up in the early 2000s. <laughs> and it's a good thing he loves Under a Rock or that R. Kelly news might really rock his world. But seriously, after spending only one weekend with, Ab with Abby, Dan and I knew that Josh's search for his life partner was over. Watching the two of them find joy in showing us the time of our lives, even though it was just a weekend, you would have thought they'd been together for years. At his heart, Josh is a gambling man, but with you, and I, with you, I would say it's the surest bet he's ever made in his life. Josh, we honestly love you like a brother, and we couldn't be more honored to stand by your side and start this next chapter of your life with your new beautiful bride. So if you get all, please raise your glass, because we were robbed of this earlier, as they say in the old country, Mazel Tov!
Out here with the squad, everybody tryna go Yeah, the party jumping off, and we putting on a show Tryna catch a vibe, we do this every time Like, na 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 Feeling like I'm on the highway Cause everything been going my way And now they looking at me sideways I'm like, na 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 This is where I wanna be, na 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 Never ever gonna leave It's a party every day So anywhere you go All across the coast We do it every time Like na 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 I got nothing but the highlights Can't believe that this is my life I'm only living on the bright side I'm like na 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 This is where I wanna be Na 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 Never ever gonna leave This is where